Median home prices in and around Indianapolis range from the low end of $235,000 and go as high as $552,000. And today I'm going to show you how much your money will get you here in Indy. I'm also going to show you examples of homes you can expect to see for that median price. Now, if you're new to our channel, I'm Cameron Giesman, your favorite indie realtor, and behind the camera is my husband, Adam, and together we make educational videos about the area in addition to our cinematic video tours of all of our listings. Now, make sure to check out our other videos, and if you enjoy them, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you're notified when we post other videos. We're going to start off with Indianapolis, since it is the state's capital and what most people think of when Indiana is mentioned. Now, the median home price here in Indy sits at about $235,000, which is in an appreciation of about 30% since May of 2020. For this, you can anticipate getting a two to three bedroom home with about two bathrooms, and most are going to be ranch homes, usually built in the early to mid 1900s and occasionally you'll get a newer home built in the 2000s, but maybe with less land. You'll also find homes with a bit more character, usually with brick or limestone on the outside and a little bit more yard. Next up, we're gonna head to the west side of Indy to Brownsburg, where the median home price sits at about 350, which is up about 47% from May, 2020. Now this is a huge appreciation for such a small town sitting at about 30,000 people. Now for this price, you can expect to get three bedrooms, two baths, depending on what you're wanting, you can find a ranch home with maybe a bit more land or a two story with more square footage ranging from 1,800 to 2,400 square feet. Now Brownsburg is definitely an up and coming area and a desired location for the west side of Indy. Next up, we're gonna head to the south side to Greenwood, Indiana. The median home price here sits at about 310,000, which you can expect to get a three to five bedroom home with at least two bathrooms and will range from 1,500 to 2,100 square feet. Most of the homes are going to be built in the later 1900s and may need a bit of updating. On to the next area, which is the east side of Indy, is Greenfield, Indiana. Now, Greenfield is another smaller town with about 24,000 residents and a lot more cornfields, but it's growing. Now, the median home price in Greenfield is about 266,000, and the first spot we've talked about today where you can get a new construction home built for that median price. You'll find most homes will have three to four bedrooms and at least two bathrooms and will range from 1,700 to about 2,000 square feet. Most of the homes are going to have larger yards because again, it's on cornfields. Next up is Fortville slash McCordsville. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing two in one and that's because they all feed into one school district. Now Fortville has about 5,000 residents and McCordsville has 10,000 residents, so it's the smallest town on our list here today. This is probably one of the fastest growing areas though, due to residents migrating from Hamilton County to there. The median home price here is about 385,000 and has been steadily increasing over the years. For the median price currently, you'll find mostly four bedroom homes, two to three bathrooms, and you may get lucky with a basement. Square footage, in this price range is gonna range from about 2,000 to 3,000, and most homes are going to be newer since it's a growing town. We're gonna to continue around the city to our next stop, which is Fishers, Indiana. Now, Fishers has been named one of the best places to live in the US, and I'm a bit partial to this area as this is where we live. Fishers has grown fast, and there are so many homes and has over 100,000 residents, and yet is still growing. The median home price here for Fishers is about 424,000, which is a 43% increase since May of 2020. At the median price, you're mostly gonna find four bedroom homes with two to three baths and about 2,500 to 3,000 square feet. Now, this is the first area we've talked about that has a home price that ranges from as low as 213,000 and goes all the way up to 2.2 million where you can live on the ever popular Geist Reservoir. Just west of Fishers is Carmel, Indiana, and is probably the most talked about city in and around Indianapolis 
and is sometimes confused with Carmel, California. Now, Carmel is also known for being the roundabout capital of the US with more than 142 roundabouts in the city. The median home price sits at about 510, and although that isn't as large of an increase as some of the other areas we've mentioned, it is still up from 390 in May of 2020, which is a 30% increase. Now with this median home price, you're looking at an older home, with most likely will need more updating because they were built in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. Because to be able to build a new home in Carmel, you're going to be spending well over that median price. You're probably gonna get about 22 to 2,700 square feet and most likely with a basement. Last up is Zionsville, Indiana and has the highest median value of 552,000. Now Zionsville is one of the smaller areas with about 32,000 residents. With a larger median price point, you're gonna find homes with basements and more square footage. Homes here are gonna be probably four plus bedrooms, two plus baths and range from 2,600 to 3,000 square feet. You might find an older home built from the 60s to 90s, but most are going to be newer homes. Zionsville has an amazing downtown area where the older homes mostly are, but as you spread out, you see more and more custom built new construction neighborhoods. So there you have it. If you're considering a move to the Indy area, then you have many areas and options at your fingertips. Now I raz Indiana for being a boring state and even Wallet Hub ranked us 40th out of 50 states for being fun. But as you can see, you can get quite a bit for your money. If you want to learn more about Indy and the surrounding areas, then check out our other videos. I really love Indy and will go to bat for our amazing state. There are so many amazing areas around Indy and if there is an area that maybe we didn't talk about and you're wanting to know what your money will get you there, then leave a comment below and we can get you that information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.